All right, that is Tony, Tony, Tony. It never rains in Southern California, and that lies. was true for 10 years. Right. Like lies, and now all of a sudden we're waterlogged. Yeah. Yeah. Our drought is almost over. So, of course, I was talking yesterday about how the Super, Super Bowl was uh, a great distraction, and it's uh, America's, I think it's an unofficial holiday, and a lot of people enjoyed it. But just like anything else, once that distraction is over, you get back to the business of life. Yeah. And life is that we have a very divided country. Uh, and that people are taking stands. Now, Martellus Bennett, and I, I, I forget the other player's name on the Patriots, are refusing to go see the president. And I think that's, if, I think if, regardless of what you do for a living, if you have an aversion to something, that you should, you should speak to your truth. I think that your, your talent should amplify your perspective. And I think if it were me, I wouldn't go either. And I think, to me, this is not about, and I say this all the time, this is not about you disliking somebody politically. This is about, I, I, I think, are you a, a moral person or an immoral person? Do you do you do you like the idea that somebody uh, sexually assaulted a woman or has degraded uh, uh, mentally handicapped people or said horrible things or has hired a, a, a white nationalist? I think if you have a problem with that, just because you want a Super Bowl ring doesn't mean you should go shake hands with a dude and normalize him if you don't feel that way. I mean, nobody said anything when Tom Brady didn't say anything, didn't go see Barack Obama. Thanks. I think that, and people are like, this is sports. Sports, wh when, when is the best time to get your message out? The, the best time to get your message out is when people are looking at you, and nobody looks at you more than they do during a sporting event. Like the whole thing when we were talking about Colin Kaepernick, and they were saying, well, he should do that later on. He should do it when people, he has the most attention for his cop. So I respect people like that. I respect the fact that you're not going to change and do something just because the other groups, are, the, the other people. Like my mother used to say, if people jump off a bridge, would you do it too? It is it is amazing, and I think these are the times we live in. And I think I'm proud of this cat for taking a stand. And obviously, he's willing to take whatever slings and arrows come with it. But normalizing a, a man who is this... We're not, and again, we are not talking about a normal time in a normal situation where I'm a liberal and you are a conservative and I'm opposed to you. We're talking about a guy who is taking this... I'm telling you, the walking dead ain't got nothing on what we're going to be. And I think anybody who stands... If you believe that before you won the Super Bowl ring, you should believe it after you win one. If I wasn't coming to your house before then, I wasn't coming at you. And if you're going to be consistent and you're going to denigrate this guy for not going uh, to go, Martellus, Martellus, for not going to see uh, President Trump, you have to do the same thing to Tom Brady for not going to see President Obama. Let's be fair. You know, like America. <laughs> All right, that's a little note from the GED section. This is uh, the D.L. Ugly Show.